my advice to caregivers and family members um, in a hospice situation would be to take one day at a time. Um, the, if you look too far in the future, it becomes overwhelming, but if you break it down and compartmentalize it, it, um, it becomes easier. You have to take each day as you get it. Um, live for the moment. Enjoy what time you have and appreciate it because it's not going to be there forever. And even if he wasn't in hospice, people need to remember that you have the moment. You don't have the lifetime. A good way to handle initially uh, becoming uh, a hospice patient or a hospice family is to first get over the fear of the word hospice. Um, I try to, um, sometimes hospice has a, a negative connotation and I try to let the family, the caregiver know that um, we make the most of every day that we have. And um, I think that helps a lot to, to just know what we do, that we're, we're not there just to um, help them transition to the next life, but we're there for today while they are alive so that today can be good. To be this family's hospice nurse has been an honor and a privilege. Um, it's just been, it's been a journey. It's a life journey, you know, and I talk a lot about life uh, and knowing that we're going to the end of life, I still talk about life because we, the days that we have left, we make the best of them. And I've, I've just learned so much about life from Martha because she does, she just keeps going and always smiles. I could not see walking away from him because he's still such a great guy. He's got a great outlook on life. He has not a care in the world. He's happy. He's not, you know, grumpy. Sometimes you have to kind of like tone him down, but as a whole, I mean, I love him dearly. And we're on to our 36 years and still going strong. And he's, he's my soulmate. We didn't just wash our hands when the times got tough. We didn't just say, okay, that's it. You gotta work. Life is work. A relationship is work. And I think we, we found the best. I know I did.